What up, Fight World? This I mean, Boxing Club, man, let's get to it. All right, so I just seen the weigh-in for um, Keyshawn Davis versus Patero. Don't really know that guy, you know. Um, I was peeping out their demeanor and how they, um, at the weigh-in, uh, Keyshawn Davis to me look a bit nervous, but you know, that's not always a bad thing to look nervous, but he do look a little nervous. Uh, the other guy seemed more calm, he seemed like he, he ready. He, um, he looked like he finna put on a, a good show, man. Um, he, I think he gonna come to win. I don't think he coming just to be a, a punching bag or just lay down for Keyshawn. I think he gonna be, you know, a, a, a test for him. I don't know how good this guy is. I watched some highlights and, you know, he seemed okay. He don't seem, I think uh, Keyshawn should be able to beat him, but, you know, we shall see. But I also want to say this, Keyshawn Davis, he was just saying that he can make 130. And he was like, but you know, we ain't finna talk about that, but he could make 130. Um, you know, surprisingly to me, Keyshawn Davis, he showed up to the weigh-in. Um, to make weight, he had to strip naked. So he made the weight first try, but he had to strip naked for it. So, you know, that don't look like to me a guy that could make 130. I don't know, maybe they still, I don't know. Maybe they did something wrong or who knows, but you know, he made the weight the first try, so, you know, I ain't going to take too much from that, man, because, you know, he look ready. Um, Patera look ready. I feel like this fight, even though it's the co-main event, I feel like it's going to be better than the main event, which is uh, George Cambosas versus, um, I forgot the guy's name, but, yeah, George Cambosas fighting Maxi Hughes, and, um, you know, I feel like Keyshawn Davis and this guy Patera, gonna, that's the fight that I'm mainly looking forward to seeing. And uh, another reason why I am, because uh, we just had Frank Martin fight a guy, you know, in a, in a tough fight, you know, and I didn't really know that guy. And it turned out to be a real good fight. Um, and Keyshawn Davis hopped on live, and he was uh, criticizing uh, Keyshawn, I mean, Frank Martin about, you know, Pretty much saying that he ain't like that. He ain't as good as what pe people was hyping him up and stuff like that. Now we get to see how he do. So it's kind of like a measuring stick to a certain degree. We're going to see, like, how good Keyshawn Davis look against this guy. Hopefully this guy is as game as Frank Martin opponent was. But um, if he is, we're going to see what Keyshawn could do with him. Um, you know, so this is the measuring stick, and I know a lot of people going to be talking about it. A lot of people in the fight world going to be tuned in, and Frank Martin going to be one of them. If Keyshawn mess around and have any kind of hiccup where he get hurt or, you know, he don't look so good, they will be clowning him. It's going to be a lot of talk. But, you know, as long as Keyshawn Davis win, I feel like we're going to see the Frank Martin-Keyshawn Davis fight one day. I feel like, you know, hopefully not too long from now we'll see that fight. Because uh, I feel like that will be a real good fight. I feel like um, Frank Martin is getting better. And, and so far, Keyshawn Davis has been getting better. I feel like Keyshawn Davis have more all-around skills. And I feel like Frank Martin got skills. And I feel like he um, um, becoming more of a problem after every fight. I feel like he closing the gap, on my opinion, on who I feel like would have won. At first, I said Keyshawn. Now, I'm looking more so like it's, it's getting closer. Uh, Frank Martin seemed like he got more power. I think he had more power than Keyshawn. Keyshawn got some power, but, you know, we shall see, man. Um, I'm ready for it, so, you know, y'all can drop in the comment section who y'all think gonna win. And, you know, that's all I got, Fight World. This is I mean Boxing Club. I'm out.